Hi everyone, I'm Lian Duan. Today, we are going to overview three tiers application. In the previous video, I demoed only one Kubernetes resource, config map with Helm 3. In the real world, the resource should be more than one resources. So I create a three layers app. This video, I'm going through the three layers app. After we're familiar with the three tiers app, I will more deep dive to the helm with the three layers app in following videos. There are two topics for today. First, application overview. Second, I will demo the app. First topic, application overview. The app has three layers, front-end, back-end, and database. The app is able to add delete and list user information. First layer, front-end. The front-end is a single-page application. That is based on the React. There are two YAML files, front-end ingress.yaml, used to map www.helm3training.com to front-end service. Customer use the domain name to access UI. Second YAML file, frontend react yaml.app file includes two resources, deployment resource and frontend service resource. Second layer, backend is Java RESTful service. It is based on the Spring Boot framework. There are three YAML files. Backhand Spring Boot config YAML file. The file has Spring Boot config items such as RESTful port number, Redis host name. Backhand Spring Boot YAML file includes deployment and service resources. Backhand ingress YAML file. The ingress resource expose api.helm3training.com The front-end call api.helm3training.com to access REST for API. Third layer is Redis. Redis is in memory database. Spring Boot uses service name backhand db Redis to access Redis. Redis service name is part of backend Spring Boot config.yaml file. Also, there are two YAML files. Backend db Redis config.yaml. The file has Redis config detail. Deployment and service resource defined in backend db Redis.yaml file. All YAML files are go through. If you are not familiar with ingress, deployments, service resource, please click below link to get more detail. Latest topic for the video, run demo for three layers app. Log into my Linux box. All chart files are under the my app v4 folder. The chart YAML file upgrade the version to 4.0.0 and app version to 4.0.0 in chart.yaml file. All the resource YAML files under the times folder. Install release first. Go to the v4 folder and run helm install. The release name is my app. Chart location is current folder, so it's dot. The naming space value is QA minor env. Also add create namespace if not exist. Minor minor wait means the command while waiting for all the resources created and show result. If I create a naming space inside the YAML file, 
the Helm delete function doesn't work. So I have to create a naming space with the Helm install command. Resort created successfully. Since 3w.helm3training.com and api.helm3training.com are not real DNS name, so I have to add them to host file. The two items were added in my box. Let me double check. Find the minikube IP and then check host file content. Make sure in your host file has two records, minikube IP address and domain name www.helm3training.com for React UI, api.helm3.training for Spring Boot Rise for microservice. Before I start UI testing, check Kubernetes resource studies or Kubernetes dashboard. Use remote desktop to my Linux box. Start Minikube dashboard. Go to QA minor ENV naming space. Three deployment resource looks good. Three pods is running without any issue. Replica side is no issue. Two English resources are there. Service no issue. Config looks good. The secrets include all the YAML file content. Next, do UI test. Use browser open www.helms3training.com. The page has two parts, add user area and the user list area. The add user use Ajax call to Spring Boot. Spring Boot save user information to the Redis. The user list retrieve user information from Spring Boot API. The API will access Redis database to retrieve all the users list. Also, I can delete the user from user list. Add user. There are two fields for add user, first name and last name. Add the user Susie Ship. First name Susie, last name Ship, Susie Ship. Add the second user Danny Dog. All users from my daughter favorite cartoon. In the same time, open browser console to track network traffic. This request will point to backend Spring Boot Rise for service. Try delete to test a different rights for ABI endpoint. Demo with a happy ending. All the topic complete. Today we go through three tiers application and the demo run it. This is a start point for next video. Thanks for you watch the video. I hope it was help. And it was, do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos comes out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in the comment section below and I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.